This is about scene sequel writing. Uh, after uh, I'm making this video, after I made the video on uh, scene sequel writing using an example in Lonesome Dove, I had opened Lonesome Dove at random and used the example I found. There are many passages of scene sequel writing, but scene sequel writing. Uh, is not the only passages in uh, in a novel. Uh, scene sequel is good for writing, for plotting in advance, outlining, and for revising. Now, I have uh, the past two days thumbed through some classic literature. Here's The Great Gatsby by Francis Scott Key Fitzgerald, F. Scott Fitzgerald. And it is considered a candidate as much as any for being the great American novel. Uh, it was not one I was assigned to read in high school. Things have changed. It's my understanding this is often assigned to read and it, places where it's not banned, but uh, great novel. Uh, I have thumbed through uh, two novellas by John Steinbeck, uh, Mice and Man in Cannery Row. Steinbeck received both the Pulitzer Prize and Nobel Prize and was acknowledged as a great American writer. And I've thumbed through Hemingway's breakout novel, The Sun Also Rises, and one of his final novels, the Old Man in the Sea. Uh, Hemingway also received Pulitzer Prize and Nobel Prize and was acknowledged as a great American writer. <clears throat> Hemingway had a big influence on me in my youth. Uh, out of high school, his family wanted him to go to college. He declined. He wanted to start writing immediately. Got a job at the Kansas City Star newspaper <coughs> writing daily, sometimes several stories a day. They let him fairly quickly write what would now be called feature stories. Uh, World War I started. He went to World War I fairly quickly, got sh almost killed, shot by a machine gun. Uh, when he wrote to his parents, he acted like, ah, oh, no big deal, I'll, uh, I'll be fine. But, uh, he was gravely wounded, sent back to the United States. So, uh, after that, he became a foreign correspondent in Europe, traveled Europe, although largely stayed, uh, his base was in uh, Paris, France. And... He wrote his breakout novel, bestseller, The Sun Also Rises. Uh, the most valid criticism, I'm not getting into a complete story about The Sun Also Rises, but it was journalism. He just rewrote about a week of his life, uh, wrote it as fiction, changing the names, changing very little of the incident. I don't find a scene sequel passage in The Sun Also Rises. I also don't find a scene sequel passage in The Old Man and the Sea. Now, I did not completely reread them. I thumbed through them. Same with Of Mice and Men and Cannery Row by Steinbeck. And the same with the Great Gatsby by Fitzgerald. So here are these great writers, great works, and <clears throat> a couple days of thumbing through them, I don't notice scene sequel writing. Now, I'm a big fan of scene sequel writing. Uh, and I can, I can show you many, many, many novels where the scene sequel writing is clear, both the Swain version and the Campbell version. 
the Swain version is uh, goal, conflict, disaster, reaction, dilemma, decision. Campbell version is more complicated, but it also has uh, incident and reaction. So um, I'll just take a, a brief look. I could have selected it, passages in any of these, but we'll look at uh, All right, so uh, <clears throat> here's the main character in, uh, uh, he's going fishing with a buddy in Europe, Italy, I think, and uh, they have bought a couple of bottles of wine for their picnic lunch while they go fishing in the daytime. How about putting that wine in this spring up the road? All right. So he tells what he did. I found the two wine bottles in the pack, carried them up to the road. Whatever spring flowed out of an iron pipe. There was a board over the spring. I lifted it, lowered it. The, it was so cold, my hand and wrist felt numbed. I hope nobody would find the wine. So then he goes to go fishing. And he's fishing. I did not feel the first trout strike. When I started to pull up, I felt that I had one. I brought him the rod bit almost double. And so forth. A little while, I had six. They were all about the same size. I laid them side by side, all their heads pointing the same way, and looked at them. They were beautifully colored and firm. They're trout. Uh, hard from the cold water. It was a hot day. So I picked some ferns, packed them in the bag, three trout on a layer of ferns, another layer of ferns, and three more trout, covered them with ferns. They look nice, blah, blah, very hot. So, uh, takes a break. And his buddy comes, he was fish, fishing at a different location, which was normal. Um, I walked up the road and got out the two bottles of wine. They were cold and so forth. Ooh, it makes my eyes ache. Let's try it. The cold helps it. So this is just recitation of incident. This is not scene sequel. I mean, he had a goal, go fishing and then eating lunch and drinking some cold wine. But uh, I don't see the scene sequel form. I don't see it in... The novels I just discussed. Sun also rises. The Old Man in the Sea. Mice and Man Cannery Row. And the Great Gatsby. Fitzgerald wrote more than The Great Gatsby. But that's the only one I've uh, looked at recently. So you don't have to write scene sequel form. Uh, in fact. Both The Sun Also Rises. And the Great Gatsby are now in the public domain. I don't know if I'm going to do this, but I have thought about rewriting them for the purposes of teaching about scene sequel form uh, in scene sequel form. You're going to say, oh boy, I can hear some critics now. Most would scoff and say, oh, that's so ridiculous. I'm not even going to criticize it. But, again, my point is not to say it would be better just to teach the form using some well-known writing that's in the public domain.